Why are we going to Mars? It's not about going to Mars to visit once, but it is to make life multiplanetary um, so that we can expand the scope and scale of consciousness to better understand the nature of the universe and to ensure the long-term survival of civilization uh, in the hopefully unlikely event that something terrible happens to Earth, that there is a continuance of consciousness on Mars. This is a backup plan in case something bad happens here, going to Mars. That's one of the benefits of Mars, um, is life insurance for life collectively. Uh, so eventually, uh, all life on Earth will be destroyed by the sun. The sun is gradually expanding, and so we do, at some point, need to be a multi-planet civilization uh, because Earth will be incinerated. I'm hearing this for the first time. No one's ever told me the sun is yeah, going to burn Earth. this is not a fact. I didn't know this was our destiny, to get roasted by the sun. Yes, and I, I don't think there's anyone who would disagree with that. So we have to set up plans to leave and spread out. I mean, we have several hundred million years, so it's not like you don't hold, don't hold your breath, uh, it'll be okay. But um, if Earth has been around for four and a half billion years, which is what the fossil record suggests, then um, Earth only has about 10% more life in it before it, is, uh, before it gets so hot that uh, life is impossible. And you're going to be the guy to put us closer to where we need to be to get to Mars. We're, we're headed there, yeah. We have a long way to go because it's not about just landing on Mars and doing flags and footprints. Um, it's about creating a self-sustaining uh, city on Mars. Um, with the, the, the fundamental fork in the road of destiny being that Mars is sufficiently self-sustaining and can grow by itself if the resupply shifts from Earth stop coming for any reason, whether that is because civilization died with a bang or a whimper, but if, if the resupply shifts are necessary for Mars to survive, then we have not uh, created life insurance. We've not created life insurance for life collectively. So that's, that's the key point in the future um, where destiny of life as we know it will uh, forever be affected is when Mars becomes self-sustaining.